Kusu, who is called the Lord of Oath, is a very, very ancient deity associated with the moon itself, one of the more powerful associations in mythology. Typically, the solar deity sits at the highest position, but right after that is the moon deity in almost every pantheon. This deity comes to us from the Hurrians of Asia Minor, and in most representation is seen as a male energy deity, but there are myths that show him as possibly a female or at least an androgynous figure. He is known as the Skyrunner for his association with the moon and is associated with the lunar cycles, his sacred number being 30. He was clearly the moon god of the Hurrian people of ancient Asia Minor and that also corresponded with the Hatic moon god who bore a similar name of Kasku and was more likely the same figure. His association with the number 30 is again an association with the moon and the lunar cycles. And in one myth, the moon god is pursued by the weather god, but the goddess of healing comes to his aid. And we can only associate this as possibly a naturally occurring lunar eclipse and how the weather patterns work to influence the display of the moon, perhaps even through cloud cover. But this deity again reveals a consistent theme that we see among mythologies, the veneration of the moon itself and how its lunar cycles, the calendar days, were very important and significant to tracking days and months as well as holidays and festivals for ancient people. Thank you again for stopping at Nine World Chronicles as we explore more connections among mythology and the moon deity as always remains one of the most important that we can look at for almost any culture we would want to examine.